Yo, we back at it again with another one of these motherfucking tutorials for Logic Pro X 10.3 or whatever. And I'm gonna go over how to do the mumble rap shit that I did for Pro Tools for Logic without Auto Tune EFX. So recently, I want to give a shout out to somebody I met on Twitter, and he gave me his song. And he was like, "Yo." Can you mix this song for me, bro? And I was just like, you know, I got you. I got my son in the background, so don't go talking shit. But he was like, can you mix this song for me and make it sound better? And, um, shit, I don't know where the pacifier is at. So we're going to have to hear him cry for this tutorial. But what I will say is this. This is all you really need to do. First of all, you need to, you know, show you the presets. You feel me? The presets are pitch correction. You use pitch correction, okay? You use pitch correction. You click low if you're a man. You click normal if you have a vagina. You click your respawn speed fast, and then you up the detune like 15, okay? Now, there's major and there's minor. Major sounds good. Minor sounds good. But if you want that real hardcore T-Pain shit, you're going to use ma major pentonic or minor pentonic, and you're going to use your G. How do you find out what you use? You download Virtual DJ Home. You drag your song into it, and it tells you the key, and it tells you the tempo. This song was recorded off tempo, so I'm not even going to fuck with that because I didn't get paid enough. Simple enough. So now, after you get that out the way, that's the first plug-in. Okay? And I'm going to go through the command chain one by one so you hear the difference and how it makes the song sound. So let's start off with the vocals really quickly. Take this off. Famous came in my senses. Wanna be great. This is my couple fences. Started off famous. Now I'm most hated. Started off famous. Now I'm most hated. Alright, so the first thing I'm gonna do is add the pitch correction. And let's hear how it sounds. All right, next thing we're going to do, we're going to add some compression. Now, you can swap this out with regular compressor. If you can't afford waves or you don't know how to steal it, use regular compressor and blast that shit through the roof and make sure you compress the living shit out of it. Going to the top now, I'm not gonna stop now. Got my dog by my side like I'm a cop. When I make it, get a Lambo on no top. And she also has no top. Hoodie spent 2K, Gucci on my face. Already sounded better. Next thing you know, channel EQ. Whoop, make sure your current bell looks like this. Louis on my waist, Louis that's the face. Easy on my lace, suicide doors and I hop in the race. Chase that money like it's the bank. Gotta watch my back from all these snakes. All right, simple enough. You're gonna add some reverb. You're gonna dry 100, wet 34. They were sitting on me, now they wait. Always hating, but that's okay. All right, now it sounds the vocals sound thin, so we're gonna add some ensemble. We're gonna turn the value compensation 3.4. Output mix to eight. Voices five. You know, rich modulation, simple stuff. So now it's gonna sound a little bit better. Going to the top now, I'm not gonna stop now. Got my dog by my side like I'm a cop. When I make it, get a Lambo with no top. And she also has no top. But he's been... You add the echo to it, that's all you do. You know what I'm saying? You add your effects, you sauce it up. You know what I'm saying? Then the next thing you know is, towards the end of the song, you might wanna add a filter. I added auto filter. On the end of the verse, because that's the song's about to end. But that's okay. All right, that adds a lot of emotion. Now, instead of ad libs in a song like this that's this slow, what I like to do is I like to do trippy breaks. So what I did was I copied, I duplicated this track, and I came down to this track, and all I did was added more reverb, and I and I made a bell shape like this to give it that space sort of sound. So that way, in the gaps that's right here, you see the little gaps. It sounds like this now. Making picks and making brands. I want a GTR, I need a fast car, faster than a NASCAR, buddy's been 2K, Gucci on my face, Louis on 
All right, so that's really that. And this, you chop random parts out the beat, and then you put a one knob filter on it, so that way it gives it that that Drake drop. Going to the top now, I'm not gonna stop now. Got my dog by my side, like I'm a cop. When I make it, get a level on the top. And All right, so last trick with not least. You see how the beat phase out? What you want to do is you want to go grab, click. Click your um, where is it? Your fade tool. You hold command. You fade it. Boom, boom, boom. You see, I'm fading it. Fade that shit like that, for And you bring your ass over here. You click where it says track. You click where it says region. Fade out, and then you click slow down. So now that you click slow, it's not like this. Subscribe to my channel, please. Like, comment, share, review, rate, any shit you want to add. Go ahead. This is just the effects. This is not how to mix and master. Woo! This is the effects. Okay? So, if you don't want to do this shit yourself, because you're lazy or whatever the case may be, send me $25 and I'll mix your song. Woo! Woo!